Yum, yum. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a mirror anamorphosis setup in Modo. In a mirror anamorphosis, an image is formed when a reflective cylinder is placed near an abstract or distorted image or sculpture. For this example, start by creating a default cylinder. Then use ground align to place the base of the cylinder at zero on the y-axis. Then assign a new material to the mesh. Next, copy the top cap of the cylinder to a new mesh item. Select all the edges, activate the edge extend tool, and left click in the viewport. Next, use the scale tool to expand the selected edges. Delete the center polygon as well as the back six polygons. Convert the mesh to Catmull Clark sub D's. Use ground align to drop the mesh to zero on the Y axis and then assign a new material to the mesh. Switch to top view and then use the project from view UV tool to create new UVs. Next, use the UV rectangle command followed by the fit UVs command. Disable key proportions and click OK. Rotate the UVs 90 degrees, then drag any image you'd like to work with onto the mesh. Go to the shader tree and select the material for the cylinder. Change the diffuse amount to zero, increase the specular amount, and drop the roughness attribute to zero. Position the camera so that the image displays undistorted in the cylinder and you're all set. Another option for creating the distorted image to use in this setup is to use the polar coordinates filter in Photoshop and simply map the resulting image onto a flat plane in Moto. Use this simple setup to generate an endless variety of anamorphic art. Oh, look at the time. <laughs>